हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द क्रिसलेक्ट चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी डूइंग एन एक्टिविटी दैट कंबाइंस स्टोरी टेलिंग म्यूजिक मूवमेंट ड्रामा एंड मैथ सो हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू कंबाइन ऑल ऑफ दीज टुगेदर वेल आई एम गोइंग टू बी शोइंग यू थ्रू दिस क्लासिक बुक इट्स कॉल्ड द ग्राफिलो now if you don't have it i would definitely advise parents and teachers to at least have one copy at school or at home it's a beautiful book and it has some lovely characters now in case you don't have the book and you want to do this activity at home with your children you can make up a story you can take any story which has characters or you can narrate and come up with a story of your own so now this book the gruffalo has certain characters now what you need is for this activity you need flash cards of these characters so we have the gruffalo then we have the snake an owl and a mouse once the children have been introduced to these characters while you're narrating the story the next step is to associate a movement to each of these characters now in this story we have these four characters if your story has um, you know characters uh, maybe like a butterfly or uh, a lion or an elephant you associate different movements to those characters so my movements are i'm going to stomp like a gruffalo slither like a snake and flap your wings and fly like an owl and scamper away like a mouse now the thing is that you are just going to be giving the words to the children so we are just going to be stomping like a gruffalo now the children need to come up with their version of stomping on their own uh you are not going to be demonstrating a movement to them this is where the children really think about giving uh, an action to a word obviously if you say stomping and if the child is uh, you know hopping that is where you come in and uh, you know introduce the meaning of what the stomping mean and talk about how the character moved in the story once you have associated a movement to every character the next step of this activity is to create a movement pattern now for this you will need any music that uh, you know you can find at home or at school and you lay out the flash cards in an order have the children name the characters from left to right and associate a movement they uh, for each character when the music is playing the children start with the movement that is of the first character so they can scamper and uh, you know pretend to scamper to the music and then when you clap your hands they move to the next character which is stomping and how would you stomp while the music is playing and then you clap and then you move to slithering like a snake and doing that while the music is playing so what has happened is we have created a movement pattern the next step is have the children come and create a pattern of their own so they could then shuffle up the movement pattern over here now this is your chance to even introduce ordinal numbers which is first so which is the which was the first movement the first movement was that of a gruffalo which is the second movement so your second movement is of slithering like a snake and then you have scampering like a mouse and flying like an owl so we've done 
making your own patterns, moving to the patterns, associating the concept of first, second, third to uh, the movement patterns. And the last step is how do we introduce the concept of data representation with the same activity. Now for this, what you could do is if you are in a classroom, you could, uh, you know, use paper cups and have the, ch give the children, uh, you know, ice cream sticks or any other uh, object, uh, loose part that is available in the school and have the children take a, um, have the children take a vote as to which movement did they like the best. So if I have three ice cream sticks in uh, the movement of stomping and two and one in each, I know that my class loved stomping like a gruffalo. So we've done data representation, we've done ordinal numbers, we've also done patterning through movement. I hope you liked this activity. Um, if you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. So please subscribe to our channel and uh, click on the bell icon. And uh, yeah, we're waiting for your comments. Thank you. Bye.